Now for calculating sum of squares for variance between the samples we have here three samples so from these three samples we understand how do we calculate the sum of squares for variance between the samples and at the same time you will understand the meaning of sum of squares for variance between the samples so here we have three samples sample A, sample B and sample C. Sample A has four data points, sample B has four data points and sample C also has four data points. Now we calculate first the mean for sample A. So sample A has four data points that means the sample size for A is a four. Therefore, the mean of sample A, which is x1 bar, equal to 6 plus 7 plus 3 plus 8 divided by 4. So here we have 24 divided by 4 and we have 6. So x1 bar equal to 6 here. Now for sample B, here we have four data points that means the sample size of B is 4 and the mean for sample B which is x2 bar equal to 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7 equal to 20 and this divided by 4 and when we divide this by 4 we have 5 so we have 5 for the value of x2 bar mean of the sample b now for sample c for sample c the data points are also 4 therefore the sample size is 4 and the mean for sample c that means x3 bar equal to 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 divided by 4 and we have 16 divided by 4 and we get 4 here so x3 bar equal to 4 now we will calculate mean of sample means or the total mean value which is x double bar so x double bar is the summation of all three means x1 bar x1 bar x2 bar and x3 bar so x1 bar is 6, x2 bar is 5 and x3 bar is 4. And because we have 3 sample means and we want to calculate the mean of sample means, therefore we have to divide this by 3. So dividing by 3, we have 15 divided by 3 and we get 5 here. So x1 bar equal to 6 x2 bar equal to 5 x3 bar equal to 4 and x double bar is equal to 5 and n1 is 4 n2 is 4 n3 is 4 now we calculate the sum of squares for variance between the samples or ss between so ss between equal to squared deviation squared deviation of the mean of a sample 1 from the total mean value that means n1 multiplied to square of x1 bar minus x double bar plus n2 multiplied to square of x2 bar minus x double bar this is the squared deviation of sample 2 uh, or the mean value of the sample 2 from the total mean value plus and 3 multiplied to square of x3 bar minus x double bar this is the squared deviation of the mean of sample 3 which is x3 bar from the total mean value which is x double bar so now put the values of the of x1 bar n1 n2 x2 bar n3 x3 bar and 
x double bar in all these parts of this equation now n1 is equal to 4 for this this figure put the values respective values in, in this figure 4 multiplied 2 square of x1 bar is 6 x double bar is 5 and n2 is 4 square of x2 bar which is 5 x double bar which is 5 also plus n3 is 4 x3 bar is also 4 and x double bar is 5 now 4 4 multiplied 2 square of 6 minus 5 minus 1 square equal to 4 now 4 multiplied 2 square of 5 minus 5 0 square and we have 4 into 0 0 now 4 multiplied 2 square of 4 minus 5 minus 1 square is 4 into 1 then we have 4 and when we add these 4 plus 0 plus 4 we get 8 therefore sum of squares for variance between the samples equal to 8 here so this way we can calculate the sum of squares for variance between the samples when we have number of samples or here we have three samples and similarly if we have more than three samples and number of samples say m number of samples then we calculate the sum of squares for variance between the samples in the same way and that's it in my next video I'll explain you how to calculate the sum of squares for variance within samples. If you have any question or suggestions then please do write your feedback in the comment box below. Hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Switch to Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel for more videos. Subscribe the channel and hit the bell to get notifications of my latest video lectures. Visit on shakehandwithlife.in to download the course notes and ebooks in PDF. See you soon in my next video.